In my previous two tutorials, I explained how to get started with the Arduino IoT Cloud using ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module and explained in detail the most basic things which I believe as a beginner you should know. In my first video, I explained how to control the ESP32 onboard LED and how to monitor a potential meter. This tutorial will help you how to use digital and analog pins of the ESP32 module. In my second tutorial, I built a home automation project using the same ESP32 module. I controlled 220 volt AC light bulbs and a fan using my cell phone and computer. So if you guys want to control AC or DC loads using relays, then you should definitely watch this tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to use Arduino IoT Cloud with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. We will be using DHT11 temperature and humidity module with the Node MCU ESP8266. We will measure the temperature and humidity and then we will send these values to the Arduino IoT Cloud where these values will be displayed on the gauges, charts and message widgets. You can monitor these values using your cell phone or you can also use your computer. The dashboard which you can see on the cell phone is automatically generated and I have explained this in my previous tutorials. Anyways, with the help of this project you can monitor the temperature and humidity values from anywhere around the world if you have the internet connection. In this tutorial, I will also explain how to use the message widget on the Arduino IoT Cloud which you can use in different projects for displaying text messages. In this tutorial, I will not explain the most basic things which I have already covered in my previous Getting Started tutorial because the account registration and Arduino Create Agent installation is same for the ESP32 and Node MCU. ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. These are the minimal connections which you can start with if in case you want to use your laptop to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. You can use these connections for testing your code. A 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected between the data and VCC pin. The data pin of the DHT11 sensor is connected with the D4 pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Now let's take a look at another circuit diagram. The DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor connection with the Node MCU ESP8266 remain exactly the same. This time I added this 5 volt regulated power supply based on the 7805 voltage regulator. You will need this 5 volt regulated power supply for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module because you cannot use your laptop or computer as the permanent power source. This is my Node MCU ESP8266 development board based on the same connections as explained in the circuit diagram. I have already explained the designing and making. I will provide a link in the description if you want to make the same development board. This is the DHT11 sensor to which I have already soldered some jumper wires and I have also soldered a 10 kilo ohm resistor between the data and VCC pins. 
I connected the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor with the Node MCU ASP8266 as per the circuit diagram. Now let's start working on the Arduino IoT Cloud. Open your Arduino IoT Cloud registered account and follow the same exact steps. This header file is automatically added. I only edit the dht.h header file. You don't need to download this header file as we are using the Arduino online editor. So most of the libraries are already added. This is an amazing thing as most of the beginners find it quite hard to download 
and install libraries. So with the Arduino online editor, you only need to add this line of code and that's it. Next I defined a pin to which my THD11 sensor is connected which is D4 pin and I also defined the type of the THD sensor which is DHT11. Inside the setup function I activated the serial communication which I used for the debugging purposes to check if my code is working. The other lines of code inside the setup function are automatically added. Inside the loop function the Arduino cloud.update function is automatically added. I added this DHT sensor get data function which is a user defined function I have placed my DHT11 sensor code inside this function. I didn't use the functions which were automatically generated but I defined my own function DHT underscore sensor underscore get data. This is a user defined function. It has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. Inside this function, we are simply reading the humidity and temperature values which are stored in variables humidity and temperature and then we send these values to the Arduino IoT cloud where these values are displayed on the gauges and charts widgets. The message variable is also automatically generated and this variable is used to send a string message to the Arduino IoT cloud dashboard. You can find all the automatically generated variables on the top of the Arduino sketch. So you have to use these variables to send your census data to the Arduino IoT cloud. So that's all about the programming. You can download this code from my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.